What's going on? It's official boy saying story. Come here, another beat him in there, y'all. Cause see by the title, the people that have been watching me for the longest. Don't be like, oh, all your mama do is beat y'all ass or you know anything like that. Cause when me and my brothers got older, mind you, I, my mom died when I was 16. My mom stopped whooping us when I was like 15, 16 years old, okay? So don't be like, oh, that's all she, no. She didn't want to, she only did it because we. she had to. And when we got older, she was like, y'all too old to be getting, you know, beating something to just, you know, I mean, she is still be like smacking us and shit, but like far as like actually like laying and then laying down and getting your ass with well, things like that. Nah, she didn't really do that, you know, unless she really needed it. But you guys like around the time, like my mom, she, I don't mean, depend on her mood, you know, she would take breaks off whooping us, you know, she had whoop us, you know, stuff like that. But this particular time she had to take a little break. I took advantage of that and that's how I went from in the house having a place to sleep to outside the house. You know, it wasn't long. She didn't, I wasn't fucking homeless, so don't think that. But you guys, man, y'all already know what to do. If before I get to this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, turn the post in the comment box, man. You like my content? I got plenty of content, thousands of videos. You me? Y'all go check them out. You feel me? I appreciate you guys, man. Y'all already know that. If you don't know that, what well, now you know that. Now you guys, listen. Hit the like button for me. 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 Hope y'all having a good day. You know, strive for your goals. Whatever you want to do in life, don't let nobody slow you down. I didn't mean to clown. I appreciate you guys, man, for sticking with me to this long. My, my fellow supporters. I appreciate you guys, man. If you can check this video. All right, you guys, check this out. From all my videos, y'all know how my mom is, you feel me? You fuck up, you gonna get fucked up, you know? You act up, you gonna get fucked up, you feel me? That's my mom used to say a lot. Okay, I'm at the age of 16, but I was 16. I had just turned 16 because it was like it was like winter time outside. It was like cold outside. My mom died the summer of that year. You feel me? She died in July. It was this is like this is like March, April, you know, something like that. You feel me? It's like spring season, you know, saying some stuff like that. So it would still be cold sometimes, you know, things like that. If y'all get if y'all know Chicago weather, y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Like when my mom, she had to take a break off with me and my brothers. We all took advantage of it, you know, but to where, like, I was doing things, like, on my own time, coming in the house on my own time, fucking not doing what she told me to do until, like, 30 minutes later, you know, saying things like that, like, that shit be like, do I come up there and clean this kitchen, you know, stuff like that. I'll wait, like, a whole 45 minutes, and then I come upstairs. Joan, I want you to in the house at, you know, 9 o'clock. I come in the house at 10 o'clock, you know, things like that, so that's what my mom, she like, you know, and then, like, she'd be talking to me, and I'd just be, like, you know, really, like, being disrespectful in a way. Not actually yelling at her, but being disrespectful in a way, you know. But I was disrespectful. But my mom, she let it build up. It wasn't like it was just one day. She let it, like, build up. Like, she had tell me to come help clean the house. Uh, take all day coming upstairs. She would tell me, do things, different things in the house. And I took my time doing it to where, to me, her, you know, to re the reason why she got, like, the way she did and told me to get out, you know what I'm saying? Coming in the house, being disrespectful towards her. Like, she had tell me to do something. And I'd be like, mom, I heard you. I heard you. Like, you ain't got to tell me again. I heard you. You know, stuff like that. You feel me? So, mom, she like, you feel me? To the point, because my mom, she really had a, a talk with us in the kitchen. And my brother, she was like, I'm tired of whooping y'all. You know what I'm saying? She was like, y'all getting too old for this? Y'all need to, you know, chill out, you know, do things like that and not act up. All me and my brothers heard was, oh, you're not going to whoop us no more? Oh, you know what I'm saying? We can do whatever the hell we want to do, you feel me? So then you guys, like, over time, like, I wasn't listening to her, you feel me? And on this particular day, you guys, this is where it gets critical, you know what I'm saying? Like, this whole time, like, I hadn't got a whooping in no how long. And not to the day, you guys, I'm going to tell you like this, like, I really regret doing all this stuff, you know, and treat my mom the way I did because I really can't take it all back because she's, you know, deceased now and I can't really do anything about it, you know, so if you have a mother and you acting up towards her and, you know, you treating her wrongly and she don't deserve that, you need to just apologize to her and just try to, you know, change your ways up, you know, for her because I can't do it. I mean, my mom passed, I was young, you know, like, I wasn't really in a concept of understanding an adult life, you know what I'm saying? But when I was an adult, I went, while I'm an adult, I wish I did have my mom back, you know, I've been apologized to her, you know? Like, I'd give my mom the world if I could, but I mean, I can't, you feel me? My mom died when I was 16, I'm 23 years old now. So she's been dead for about seven years, you know? So, you guys, 
still have your mom, you need to talk to her, you know, even if, even if she don't want to talk to you back, you know, you did your part, you know what I'm saying, like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta do, you know, we can't just sit around and, I don't know, like, be mad at each other and hold grudges, you know, things like that, Cause like, the people that don't know, I was mad at my mom before the night my mom died, I was mad at her, because she had put me on punishment, and I was mad at her, and I can't ever apologize about this stuff again, ever, I can never apologize to her, you feel me, and I don't believe in all the, oh, they watching over you, all that stuff, man, people say that stuff just to say it, I don't know, no one knows what the fucking afterlife is, uh, is like, you feel me, so, don't be saying that you don't know if they listening or watching you, or any of that stuff, you know, you guys, trust me, so you guys, this particular day, my mom, she wanted to cook dinner, okay, every, it, it had to be like, I don't know, my mom, she cooked all the time, she wasn't like most parents, or most parents, like, they cook like on Sundays, you know, stuff like that, my mom, she cooked all the time, whenever she felt like it, my mom, she liked to cook, you know, so my mom tells me, she like, Juwan, bring some chicken wings, she said chicken wings, it was it chicken wings, chicken legs, or chicken thighs upstairs, but they was in like the little, the freezer, she's like, bring those upstairs, so they can unthaw, so they can sit out and unthaw, mind you, my mom was gone all day, she was like, bring it upstairs, so they can unthaw, you know, stuff like that, so I can make dinner when I get home, me, I'm in the room on a game, talking to friends, you know, stuff like that, she like, bring it upstairs, you know, so they can unthaw and all that stuff, I'm like, all right, my mom, you know, I got you, you know, hang up the phone, she called me later on, she's like, could y'all make sure, what she say? Could y'all make sure the house is clean? You know, stuff like that. I'm like, oh my fucking God, bro. Right now, I'm thinking like, bro, this lady is fucking irritating the fuck out of me. You know, stuff like that. Because right, right then and there, I didn't feel like fucking cleaning up shit. You know what I'm saying? So, she like, make sure you tell your brothers and you know, stuff like that. I'm like, bro, like, why do we have to clean up? Like, you know the fuck? I don't know what day it was, you guys. I ain't gonna tell y'all like that. Like, I know what day it was. I don't know what day it was. She like, make sure the house clean. You know, stuff like that. I'm like, why? Ain't nobody even coming over. I'm thought somebody's coming over. Still, if it was, I was still gonna clean it. But nobody even came over. Like, she was like, make sure the house clean. Bring, take the take the meat out. You know, make sure I don't thaw. Y'all think about it to this day. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's not even a hard thing to do. Like, I was just being lazy and just taking advantage of my mom because I wasn't getting my ass beat. You know what I'm saying? So then she likes to, you know, take the chicken out, doing all that stuff. You feel me? I'm like, yeah, I hear you. You feel me? She's like, clean up the house. I hear you. You know, stuff like that. I'm literally sitting in this room. TV is over there, playing the game online with friends. I was playing Grand Theft Auto, you know. And when I was younger, Grand Theft Auto was lit. Like, it's, it's lit now, but I don't really play it no more. But yeah, I liked it better when I was little. So it's me and, like, probably, like, four or five of my friends online. We all playing the game, you know, stuff like that. So then my mom, she called again. She, like, come in and help with the groceries, you know, stuff like that. Mind you, my brothers and upstairs, they helping me with the groceries, you feel me? I'm not, you know, I was really not listen to my mom every time she said she told me to do something i wouldn't do it you know what i'm saying and that was really irking her and getting to you know and i understand why so then you guys like this is where the, the coffee gets you know very bitter okay my mom get in the house my mom she always used to say she could smell shit in the house her and my aunt i'm like what the fuck do y'all smell i don't even smell anything like we had dogs too so if the dogs like urinate or fucking you know defecate on the damn floor or some shit and they smell it even if it's picked up already like I'm like what what do you smell it like my i had a little dog a, a fucking chihuahua her name was reese's and i got a, a, a another dog named snickers and snickers was a, a, a yorkie makes it a poodle i think i don't know she's one of the little small irritating ass fucking dogs too i do not like little dogs i like the big dogs but i mean i like all animals dogs but this small dog is fucking irritating as fuck. All they do is bark. Be little as fuck. All you gotta do is be like that. You feel me? They gonna, you know, get running and shit. But anyway, my dog, Reese, Reese, I brought her up because she always, like, shit in the same spot. Two spots. It either be this table when you first walk in the door. Like, it's, you walk in the door, the front door. You, all you gotta do is look this way and it's a table over here. And she shits under the table. And then it's another area in a, and that's in the living room. But in the dining room, she shit on the other side of the fucking table. The bigger table on the other side, on the floor. So if she can see those two spots, you know Reese did it. Snickers, she rarely shitted and you know pissed in the house. If you if you see that, it's probably Reese and not Snickers, because Snickers is well trained. 
irritating ass dog when she was well trained. They both deceased or they both died. Reese died like year before last or last year. Year before last, I think. And Snickers died like a year after my mom died. So Snickers died like 2017. No, Snickers died like 20. Damn, I don't even know. Snickers was old as fuck though. She died a year, some a while back. Like, so you gotta need to say, my mom, she get in the house. You feel me? I'm not doing other stuff my mom told me to do. It was just like building up to my mom over time. You feel me? So think about that. And she just put me out just for one damn day for that shit. It was building up over time for days while I wasn't listening to her. You feel me? Oh, another thing. I had like dishes in my room. You know what I'm saying? Like she had tell me to do this. Like because my mom, she always, you know, it's her house. She come in her room. She come in our room whenever she fucking pleases. You know what I'm saying? She see dishes in my room. You know what I'm saying? She said to us to cut the front. You know front grass and I wouldn't do that you know so I was just being real lazy the only thing I really did was going out with friends with girls she used to tell us don't bring people to her house if her house not clean you know stuff like that and I used to do it anyway you guys so a lot of stuff I used to do my mom used to pay, like you know she used to pass on me you know what I'm saying but you know she got tired of it so then you guys like I said this is where the coffee gets bitter at okay mom she comes in the house nothing is done no cleaning up the house no, no raw meat. I mean, no, th no thawed meat out. Cause my mom, she's gone all day. Nothing was done. You feel me? Like nothing was fucking done at all. Nothing. She comes in the house. Mind you, I'm downstairs. So my mom, she she comes in the house. I can hear her, uh, like in the house, you know, stuff like that. But at that time, I had already took my like I had already turned the game off and stuff like that. Like I was just chilling watching TV. You feel me? So then like. When I had thought about it, my mom came back. I was like, I ain't do none of that shit. But I wasn't even, like, panicking. I wasn't even like, oh, shit, I ain't do none of that shit. You know, stuff like that. I was just like, yo, damn, I ain't even do that stuff. You feel me? So I'm like, I just deal with the consequences. I ain't gonna get a whooping. She's just gonna yell at me and stuff like that. So, And she didn't whoop me still. You feel me? So then she, my mom's coming to the house. You know what I'm saying? She looking around. She, she did nothing that's clean. You feel me? Ain't no meat out. She getting mad. You feel me? So then I can hear her from all of my stairs. Juwan. Cozy, you feel me? You scream my damn name. I'm like, oh my god, bro. So she had to call me multiple times because I wasn't coming upstairs. It's like Jawan, Cozy. I'm like, yeah, you feel me? She was like, I know you fucking hear me. Get your ass upstairs, you know, stuff like that. So I already know what she was gonna yell at me about. So I come upstairs. She's like, didn't I tell you? Because she had asked my brother now why the house isn't clean. They were like, you never told us to clean the house, you know, stuff like that. She was like, Jawan never told you. They were like, no. Nah. So then she was like, you know, that's when she called me upstairs. She was like, for one, why didn't you bring the meat out of the freezer? Now you ain't gonna have shit to eat for fucking dinner, you know, stuff like that. She's like, I don't know. Me thinking we had fucking ramen. I'm like, I just eat me some damn ramen, you know what I'm saying? I always give you some damn ramen noodles. Like, you, I don't know why you, you know, you yelling like that. Because I ain't do nothing, you feel me? So then, secondly, she was like, and why the fucking house is it clean? I was going all day. Another time for y'all to clean up the house, you know, thing like that. So I'm like... I don't know. I forgot. You feel me? She's like, you forget. She's like, you know what? You want to walk around here acting like you don't care about shit? Like, this isn't your house? And, like, you just actually had this careless attitude and that you don't care? If you want to be here, you don't have to be here. I'm like, I never said I didn't want to be here, you know, so like that. She's like, you know, matter of fact, just get out. Just get out. You feel me? And I'm going to tell y'all like this. Walking the streets of Chicago at night is dangerous. I'm talking about that's crazy. Like, and I was just, you know, when you really don't care about something, you just be walking. Like, I... Usually, I mean, when I used to walk home at night, I used to always watch my back. Like, I always look behind me, in front of me, side of me, like, 300,000 fucking times. I do that. Like, I just be walking, doing this the whole time. You feel me? Because you got to watch your back. You know, in Chicago, everybody fucking do that shit. Like, you got to do it. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of our streets be, like, dark. Like, no lights, no street lights. So, it be, like, dark. Like, somebody really could just pull up and just lay some shit down and you won't know who did it like that's because it's dark outside that's why i feel like chicago is a system like we just here to kill each other you know what i'm saying and that's why i don't you know i don't and put myself in those positions but my mom kicked me out and i was just walking down the street you feel me that's not what's my friend house. i was like bro i'm coming you know stay with you for a little bit you know what i'm saying my mom just put me out but she was like, she was like, get out, get out. So I'm like, what, what for what? I ain't even doing nothing. She was like, I'm tired of you acting the way you acting, so get out. So I'm like, all right, let me go get my stuff. Let me go get my stuff. Luckily, I had my phone in my pocket, because if I didn't have my phone in my pocket, she wasn't going to let me get my phone, you feel me? And good, I'm glad she didn't ask me for my phone, because she, if she was paying a phone bill, she probably going to be like, you know, I'm glad. Usually she'd be like, and hey, give me your phone, you know, stuff like that. And if she would have probably did that, I'd be like, no, you know, you had my phone, you feel me? You can turn it off, but I need my phone, you know, 
because I, I just need it. So I tell my friend, you know, I'm like, I'm about to come and stay with you, you know, for a little bit. You feel me? He, so he like, okay, cool. His mom, she worked all damn day and she to provide for her and her son. So like, it was cool for me to go over there. You feel me? So you know, she like, get out, get out, get out. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of you. I'm sick of your ass. Y'all motherfuckers walking around here like y'all own the fucking place. You know, stuff like that. Like, you ain't got to do shit. I say like, I'm not your fucking mother. You know, stuff like that. And I'm like, Mama, I never said none of this stuff. Like, she like, it's not, I know you didn't say it. It's your fucking actions. You know, stuff like that. And I'm like, all right, you know, all right, you know, things like that. I know I didn't go to school the next day. You feel me? I was just like, bro, it is what it is. You feel me? So then she was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why aren't you listening to me? So I left. You feel me? She had grabbed me by the door. And she's like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Why the fuck aren't you listening to me? You know, stuff like that. I'm what the fuck is wrong with you? You want to be an adult? Why you want to, you want to be an adult? You want to be an adult? You know, I'm like, oh, man, I'm, I'm not saying, I'm, I'm not saying that stuff. You feel me? So then now she think I'm being careless. She's like, now you want to act all fucking careless and shit. You feel me? She's like, just, just go, just get out, just get out. You feel me? I leave out. You feel me? A lot of, a lot of time, my mom, she put me and my brothers out. You know, you act up. You got some of the consequences. It's not no damn child abuse. It's none of that stuff. You a child, and you want to fucking not, you know what I'm saying, honor your mom, then it's that you got to fucking go. You know what I'm saying? I, I blame myself for that. You know what I'm saying? So she told me to get out. And I get out. You feel me? I walked to my friend's house. He talked with me. I talked to him. He lived down the street, like around the corner from me. I talked to him. Yeah, he asked me what happened. You know, stuff like that. I told him, like, bro, like, I don't know. Shit. Like, I don't know, like I said, I looked in the mirror, it was asking what's wrong with my damn self, you feel me, I ain't know, so then, like, um, my, my, my mom, she, she knew where I was at, but my brothers, like, they, well, they knew what I was at, too, you know what I'm saying, that's my, one of my best friends, he used to be, you feel me, so then I go to his house, my brother had walked over, my older brother, and then he was like, well, you need to come home and talk to mommy, you know, stuff like that, she been crying, you know, stuff like that, I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, hell no. So then I told my friend, like, I'll see you later. You feel me? That's when I walked him home. My brother, he told me, like, you need to, bro, you need to just act. You need to, you know what I'm saying? You need to fucking, uh, you growing up too fast. You need to fucking act like you care for, you know, stuff like that. You feel me? That's not, I actually went home. Like, I talked to my mom. We was talking for, like, a, like at least, like, fucking an hour and a half. We was just, I was talking to her in her room. Just talking to her, you feel me? So then, bro, to see my mom cry like that, you guys, I was just like, bro. I just wanted to fucking bang my head on some shit, man. And just, bro, you guys, shit is fucking sad as fuck. You guys, and I just fucking, like, I don't know what the fuck was going on with me, you guys. Out of my mom, she said she wanted to whoop us. I started not to listen to her, you feel me? So then, but that, that shit didn't last, though, because she started beating the fuck out of us again, you feel me? So, yeah. Watch you guys, man. That video, man. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I got more story time coming. You got some pages for 78. If I knew my channel, like, story time, subscribe to the channel. The like button, turn the post to the comment box, man. Y'all already know. Till next time, man, we're going to wrap it right here, man. This shit, boy, insane story. Yeah. Do what y'all got to do in life, man. You know what I'm saying? Strive for your goals, whatever you want to do. Don't let nobody slow you down. I live with these clowns, man. Till next time. Oh, yeah, before I go. If you want to follow me on Instagram, it's going to be in the, the link going to be in the description. So go ahead, just follow me there. Snapchat, black underscore N-I-G-G-A, black underscore N-I-G-G-A 17, okay? B-L-A-C-K underscore N-I-G-G-A 17, okay? And I'm out, y'all. Peace.